I'm Sam and welcome back to another Easy Science video. So I hope you enjoyed my birthday video. It's been really thankful for being 11. So today we're going to make the piñata that was in my birthday video. We're going to show you how to make your own piñata. Later on in the video we're going to be working on glue. So stay tuned. So we're going to need flour, a mixing bowl, newspaper, balloons, a wooden spoon for mixing it, water, a hole puncher, a ribbon, confetti, and finally the fillers. And it can be anything you want. So first we're going to start by blowing up a balloon. Okay, we finished the balloon. I'm just so excited to make this banana. As you can see, we put already put the flour in, so we're going to put the water slowly in and we're going to stir it until it's thick liquid. It's perfect now. As you may know, this is one of the most strongest glues. It can be used for projects, models, those that can last for a long, long time and also piñatas that's why we're using it to make piñata okay so now we have the balloon we place it on the glass and are going to stick the newspaper with our balloon okay so now we're not going to use it on the mouth of the balloon which is under here because we need stuff to be in the piñata not nothing in the piñata it will be a little boring in the piñata all right. The trick is to dip the newspaper strip, take it out, then brush your fingers to remove the extra liquid out. Then you directly stick it on the balloon. Make sure to cover the table with plastic because it will get really messy as you can see with my hands and it's really sticky too. Okay guys, we're finally done with the first layer. Now as you can see, we changed the glass into a bowl because we needed something wider and this is a big mess. So we're going to leave this to dry and after we do, we're going to add a second layer and after we add the second layer, we'll leave it to dry but again. Bad news guys, the balloon popped before we can add the last layer. Though so I about managed to save it. Here we have the piñata, it's an egg. As you can see, here's the Indominus. My mom and I did a well detailed work on the eye. Okay, first let's add the confetti to make it sound happy. Let's take some confetti and put it in the piñata. Now let's add the dinosaurs. These are well-made dinosaurs too. Whoever made this, I'm giving credit. These are good cameras. Okay, next we're gonna hole punch, then we're gonna add the ribbon, and then our piñata will be complete and ready to hang. Okay, now for the other side. Hey, we're done. Look at these holes. I hope you like the design of the egg. Because this is based on Jurassic World from Movie 1, if you ever remember it. Okay, now let's put the ribbon and then cover the top. Okay, we kept the ribbon long because we're not sure where to hang it. Okay, so all we need to do is cover the hole. Now we're going to use it the same way 
as we did the old Pinot. So let's start. We need flour, a mixing bowl, newspapers, balloons, a wooden spoon to mix it all, water, cardboard box, a tape, two paper towel rolls, spray paint, and acrylic paint. Okay, to start off blue, you need a small balloon for the head, two long balloons for the tail, and one long balloon for the neck. A big balloon for the chest and one small balloon for the bottom, paper towel rules for the legs and finally the cardboard box at the bottom. And you can also hold this all with tape. Okay next we will crumble some newspapers, then we're gonna put them for the arms and the bottom, which is for shaping a rock. And we're gonna do the same way as we did from the piñata, mix the water and the flour together to make our super strong glue and cover it all up. Oh, and make sure not to cover the balloon lips so you will be able to remove them when the newspaper is dry. Oh, and remember, the more newspaper layers you add, the stronger it will be. So keep on adding! It's made out of newspapers and our special glue. So right now, we're gonna spray it and make it colorful. Now the reason there is no teeth, cause the teeth are white. Let's do this. So as you can see what I've done with the body, now we're gonna do the other side. So, here we go. We wait, beat it until the spray dried, and we added some details like the eyes, the scaly texture, the claws. And now we're going to do what Blue's famous is for the stripes. So now we're going to spray it all from the tail until the neck. Okay, we're almost done with blue. So first of all, oh, my mom helped me a little bit with the details so it can look nice. So now all we need to do is add the white. And then later when it's finished, we'll show you the final version. Okay, let's start. Oh, and by the way guys, the teeth and tongue are made out of cardstock. It's stronger than regular paper.
So guys, as you can see, we have the final <laughs> render of blue. Do you see how beautiful the structure is? Here we have the feet, feet and arms all colored. We added a little bit of blue here. Here we have, of course, its teeth, if its eye, and the nose. And if you look inside blue, you can see it has every feature of the mouth. <laughs> Inspiring to make your own sculpture, a model. It can be anything you want, for example, any dinosaur or anything from a horror game. For now, here is Blue's final render. I'm so relieved that we finally got it. I was so excited when this came in my birthday. So now this video has been a look of how to make the pinata and blue. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a big like, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you can never miss a video. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>